transgenic foods. You think you eat healthily? You're against genetically manipulated foods? Just like you, more than 70% of European citizens say no to transgenic foods. Still, you too have long since eaten transgenic foods without even knowing. For example, 70% of worldwide soy production is already genetically modified. Such plants are being produced by the introduction of foreign genes. In this way, two main new characteristics emerge. Either the plants are resistant to phytotoxins, or they produce toxins themselves which kill pests and other animals. These plants then spread uncontrollably as wind and insects disseminate the pollen. 90% of all genetically modified plants are cultivated in America and exported to Europe on a grand scale. All in all, 80% of all transgenic plants are being processed for pet food and are largely fed to production animals. In this way, genetically modified organisms end up in your food too. Legally though, this does not need to be labelled on meat, eggs and milk products. Perhaps you're wondering whether this is dangerous at all. Well, there are already animal studies which document verifiable health consequences. And what's bad for animals can become dangerous for humans too. It's just that no long-term studies have been conducted on this up till now. But wait, we are all part of the long-term study already. And we are all the guinea pigs of the big agricultural companies. So this concerns us all. Our world is no experimental laboratory. Stop genetic manipulation. There are a lot more risks. Get informed.